Matthew 10, 35, the meaning of I came to divide mothers against daughters. For I have come to a turn a man against his father and a daughter against her mother, a daughter against a mother-in-law and against a mother-in-law and against a daughter-in-law. I want to let you know that no matter what it is, somebody ain't going to be saved. That's the difference. And he know that. Jesus know that. Okay, Christ this is what Christ Christ quoted, the prophet Micah in Micah seven six. When the uh, prophet spoke, he was said, he was stating the way things had been had been come in the land for God's people. It was the state of things. No one was good, and no one could be trusted. It seemed that Jesus used the words in a slightly different way. He will turn some hearts to good, but that will be put to them at odds with members of their own household who do not hold to the faith and are still in their unrighteousness. Though the intensity of the opposition will vary from house to house, the the dividing will be distrib- distributed. Christians will love who and what the world hate, and hate what the world love. We will no longer walk as we once did in darkness. Ephesians four and, and seventeen. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, uh, car cursings, and, de- and debate and idolatry. They are surprised that you do not join them in their reckless, wild living. And Peter, First Peter 3, Four, four, three, four. Jesus pronounced who woe on those who all men speak well of, as they did of the false prophets in Luke six twenty six. Matthew ten uh, thirty five. Jesus had said, rather than peace on earth, he would bring a sword. Get your family members and pray for them. The ones in sin.